1,000 metres of ascent to get us into Andorra. Let's do it. Let's go. Francis Owens was a person that was somewhat unique. I think he had probably one of the biggest hearts uh, that I, I have ever encountered in a person. He truly cared about his fellow man. As Service of Force Self, one of the things that we push for so much in the military, what we all aim for, we all learn in boot camp and all these other training things that we have to do, that there's a certain element that you want to be, that you should strive to be as a military member in the U.S. And I learned that Bud Owens embodied all of that. I just think it's, it's a perfect example to, to look up to in an airman. He's putting lives in front of his, and it's hard to do. I, I couldn't imagine what it was like for him, and just the example that he has put forth. It's just incredible. I think the lesson we need to take is that uh, uh, Owens did what he felt he had to do uh, because he had a certain set of values and character. And that, I think, is what we need to make sure all younger generations appreciate and understand that it's absolutely essential for the future of our country. It was very important for, for me to, to come in, the, in this journey uh, because uh, it's a story of, of my of my family, of my great-grandfather. I know he wouldn't probably think of himself as a hero, but to me he is a hero for everything that he did. As a young person who was, again, the age a lot of these young guys were, I think it makes her stop and think and maybe really appreciate what they, the collective they, did for everyone, for the world.